Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. I certainly sound better this week than I did a couple of weeks ago. Allergies aren't bugging me anymore. And uh, this week, I'm going to share with you a tip that I think you're going to really like if you've ever wanted to take layers from one drawing and bring it into another. Now, I know you can use Design Center, uh, but I think you're going to find that this method of doing so is much, much faster. Now, I happen to be in a brand new drawing. You don't have to do what I'm about to show you in a brand new drawing, but in this situation, I did this so that you can see very clearly I don't have any extra layers in here. I'm just going to also show you by going in the style command. I don't have any extra, you know, I really don't have any textiles in here to speak of other than the basic ones that come with my template file. So I'm going to go into the insert command. This may not be something intuitively obvious. I think this is a really great tip. And I'm going to go look for the drawing file that has all of the, the great layer information in it that I'm after. It happens to be a drawing I was just working in not too long ago called Building Plan First Floor Drawing. I don't want to have to make my layers all over again. I'm going to hit open. And I'm going to go ahead and from this point I'm just going to hit OK. But when it asks me to specify a point on the screen, I'm not going to pick. I'm going to go ahead and hit escape, which makes it kind of look like I canceled out of the whole command, so technically nothing should have happened. However, not the case. I want you to notice as I move my cursor up here, I have all kinds of new layers. Those all came from that drawing file that I kind of inserted, right? We didn't insert it all the way, but we inserted quite a bit of information in there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in style. And you'll see, look at this, a whole bunch of textiles came with it too, so keep that in mind that you will get the textiles from that drawing. And um, let's take a look at dim style. Let's take a look at that. You'll see, oh, there's some extra dimension styles in here as well. Those also came from the other drawing. So it will grab the layers, the dimension styles, and the textiles from the drawing that you kind of inserted, right? You didn't finish inserting it. So. So what happens if I already had a layer in this drawing? For example, maybe I already had a layer called Corta, like I have on here. And maybe it was a different color. Maybe it had different settings, different line type or line weight. Well, just so you know that your current drawing always will win. Same is true with textiles, same is true with dimension styles. So that's my tip for you this Tuesday. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you use this tip, and I hope you find that it works out for you really, really well, and ideally saves you time, because that's what it's all about. So I'll stay tuned. I will uh, chat back with you in two more Tuesdays.